Hello Gemini, welcome to your Nightmare After Christmas love reading. Uh, I only call it that because Christmas is over and I'm using this new Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck that I got as a gift from uh, my mother-in-law. So this will be exciting, right? Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Time is fluid, energies are interchangeable, so feel free to swap the roles as you see fit. But do not force a situation if it doesn't resonate, okay? Just keep an open mind and take what resonates. Whew. All right, let's jump right in. Gemini, universe, spirits, and guides. What messages do we have for Gemini in love? Gemini in love. Let's see. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It'll really help my channel out a lot. And I truly appreciate it. I appreciate all the love and support. All right. What is currently going on between Gemini and their person spirit? What is the current situation between Gemini and their person? Whoa. You got the nine of potions. This is that, you know, this is the prosperity card, the wish fulfillment card. But for some reason, I'm also feeling a sense of like overindulgence. Maybe even like addiction. Let's see, I might, I'm gonna have to clarify that. Yeah, don't worry, Gemini, I'm gonna clarify a little bit later, okay? Let's see, how does this person feel about Gemini, Spirit? How does this person feel about Gemini? How does their person feel about Gemini? Six of Candles? I feel like they see you as very inspiring. Um, Six of Candles is like that feeling, it's, it's victory, it's success, it's triumph, right? It could be fame, for, so you could be in the public eye here. Or maybe they see you on social media and they just, they just think that you're just so amazing. I don't know, let's see. What is a major blockage in this connection? I feel like there's a lot of love here. What is a major blockage? So you got the King of Candles and you got the Eight of Needles. Interesting. There's a lot of attraction for sure. I feel a strong, strong attraction. But the Eight of Needles, there's anxiety. Um, and it's anxiety created within your own mind, it feels. It's almost, um, in a sense of victim mentality, like that self-saboteur, you know, that voice in your head that tells you that you're not good enough, right? Clarifying this King of Candles. Is there such thing as having too much attraction towards someone? Maybe this person feels like they might mess things up because they just have too much attraction for you. I feel like this is a connection that is current. Like, I feel like this is a connection that you're in, a relationship that you're in. You could already be in this relationship. 
I don't know. That might be for some of you. But I feel like this is like a dream come true and there's strong chemistry, but somebody is afraid to mess it up because of it, because it could, it's like that fear of like, maybe this is all just about sex. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing pe two people get, in, get into bed together and somebody leaving in the morning. It's that situation, but it, but it's like a regular thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Lordy Lord, Gemini, Gemini got it going on. All right, let's see. Uh, what actions will this person take towards Gemini spirit? What action will this person take towards Gemini? What actions will this person take towards Gemini? Thank you, Spirit. So we got the Ten of Needles in reverse, and then we got the Four of Needles. That's a no good, Gemini. It's almost like, uh, <laughs> Oh, why? I'm hearing this person is a player. Oh my God. Maybe that's where this anxiety is coming from. Maybe this is like this feeling of um, this person is too good to be true because there's just so much chemistry. But what, what I see here in the near, or not in the near future, but actions that this person will take, sorry. <laughs> there's, I feel like there's gonna be a break in, in communication here. It's like the, he's, this person's gonna take a break from the connection. And with this 10 of uh, needles in reverse, this person got some, uh, this person got a chapter to close. Let's just say that. This, this person has some closure that needs to happen. And I feel like maybe... I don't know. I there, it's just, There's this feeling of... Finding or meeting that one person who changes everything for you. You know what I'm saying? Gemini is like meeting that one person that is the one. Because even though I heard this person is a player, it almost feels like now they done caught feelings. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, what is the outcome here, Spirit, for Gemini? So you got the emperor in reverse, and then you got the two potions in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> this person got control issues, it feels, or somebody got control issues. Maybe you got control issues. I don't know. <clears throat> but it but it feels like this person is not going to admit to the connection. This person isn't going to um, say, look, I, I know that we, that we're supposed to be together or something like that, like, It's like this person doesn't want to acknowledge the connection for what it is. It, they're afraid of catching feelings. They're afraid of something. I don't know why they're so afraid of catching feelings. This is a runner for sure. I feel like this is a runner. 
It's giving me like twin flamey vibes. All right, um, what is the overall energy on the bottom of the deck? Two of presents in reverse. Yeah, somebody's juggling a lot here. Somebody's keeping themselves busy. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the nine of potions here. Spirit, what can you tell us about the nine of potions? Why is the nine of potions here? Why is the nine of potions here, Spirit? Come on, Spirit. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you. Look at that. You showed up for your reading, Gemini. The lovers in reverse. Oh my God. This feels like a toxic relationship. It's like everything you want, but also everything you don't want. Why? Clarify the lovers in reverse, spirit. Clarify the lovers in reverse, thank you. Three of presents in reverse. <laughs> you met this person at work, Gemini? <laughs> Something to do with planning for the future. It, it almost feels like somebody's not ready to think about the future in this in this connection but one of you is one of you is ready I feel like it's you Gemini I feel like you're like all right I'm ready to start doing this I'm ready to start having kids I'm, I'm ready to get married and this person still they're still in bachelor mode. Mm hmm that's what I feel all right let's see let's clarify the six of candles here spirit Whew. let's clarify the six of candles here page of potions there they're definitely intimidated by you, Gemini. This part, whoever you're dealing with, I feel like I feel like they don't want to disappoint you. I feel like the chemistry is real. The bond is real. The love is real. But they don't want to let you down. Interesting. You see how his eyes are? It's like he, he sewed his eyes shut. Because he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to see clearly. He doesn't want to acknowledge what is happening. And I think that that's the thing. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Mm -hmm. They're hiding from their feelings because did it's like a fear of change you know what i mean gemini all right let's go ahead and clarify this king of uh, candles along with the eight of needles clarify this king of candles with the eight of needles spirit clarify this king of candles Oh. So 
So you got the seven of presents in reverse. And then you got the nine of presents in reverse. <laughs> I feel like this person hasn't gained their independence yet. Or maybe what I mean by that is I feel like maybe they're not at, at the place that they want to be in life before settling down, before committing. It's like, they, they're they not, I mean, think of it this way. This person is probably striving for a certain future, a certain goal, and it, it seems very personal to them. And like, for example, their, their goal sh could be that they want to be the CEO of a major company or corporation. And they want to get there and they're, they're not there yet. That's why they can't commit because they're staying focused on their goal. You get what I'm saying, Gemini? So it doesn't really have anything to do with you. It's just a personal thing of like, I can't commit because I need to, this isn't where I, I see my myself in this current time. Damn, that's deep. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and clarify this 10 of needles and this um, four of needles. Clarify this Ten of Needles in Reverse Spirit. Thank you. The Knight of Candles. Interesting. And then the King of Needles in Reverse. Hmm. Yeah. So... This person definitely wants some kind of a new beginning. And it does feel like they have some chapters to close before that can happen. But the thing is, there's going to be a break, right? Even though there's a break, there's still going to be a lot of attraction for you with this Knight of Candles. I feel like they want to figure out how to move forward. In this connection but with this king of needles in reverse this person is emotionally detached so ultimately I feel like this person is going to take some time out for themselves to try and figure out you know um, this whole situation to try and figure out what this connection is and how I think they want to try to figure out how to move forward in this connection you know the knight of candles this could be talking about traveling too so this person could be thinking trying to figure out how they can get to you I don't know Um, let's go ahead and clarify this Emperor in Reverse and the two potions in Reverse. Clarify this Emperor in Reverse spirit along with the two potions in Reverse. Whoa. Alright, so you got the Devil. Capricorn energy. <laughs> and then you got the sun in reverse. So. <laughs> what that's telling me. 
is the outcome is going to remain sexual, I feel. I feel like you two are going to continue, you know, hooking up or whatever. And because with the devil card, there's just this strong sexual chemistry, this strong bond um, that it, it feels like you guys can't shake, right? But the thing is, with the sun in reverse, that just tells me like, you're not really happy. And, and, it, and it almost feels like It feels like a friends with benefits kind of situation, TBH. And it, 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 and it feels like you want more, but this person doesn't know. Yeah. 10 of candles in reverse. This is that feeling of releasing burdens, um, letting go of karmic shit, right? And maybe somebody's gonna do that. Maybe ultimately you have to do that. I don't know, Gemini. Let's see, what's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, Ace of Presents in reverse. An opportunity that doesn't present itself. Wow, damn, this got really deep, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just like, there's this great strong connection, this, uh, amazing bond. I feel like there's just such chemistry that I'm just like, yes, get it, get it, Gemini. But you guys aren't on the same page. All right, let's go ahead and um, pull one more card for advice to close out this reading, Gemini. What advice do we have for Gemini? What advice do we have for Gemini moving forward? What advice do we have for Gemini moving forward? So we got the page of presents, the page of needles, and then the four of presents in reverse. <laughs> what I'm kind of feeling from these cards is almost I feel like spirit is trying to say that you have to release this immature energy. You gotta stop keeping tabs on this person and you gotta start moving f forward in the direction of your dreams. Let, let it go. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Because you see how this is, I feel like this is you. And you're hanging out with the wrong crowd here. You see? Oh, but only you know what to do, Gemini. All right? Okay, that is all I have for you today, Gemini. I hope that this reading resonated for you. If it did, please go ahead and click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And until next time, Gemini, I will see you later.
Bye.